You know, power, it is said, corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. But I remember the great Tanzanian president, Mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere, used to say that when you are called upon to serve, remember that you are not necessarily the best but you've been given the honor and privilege of serving. That is why we call you honorable. That is why sometimes we even call you excellency, not because you are excellent yourself, but we expect you to do excellent things. If you surround yourself with the wrong people who will continue to worship you, very soon you get used to being worshiped, then you become a demigod and you become hostile to truth and you become attracted to flattery. The strength of character is very important and power does not change people. Power reveals who you truly are or truly are. I've interacted with individuals even across this continent, men and women who mean well and they serve well. I was telling a friend of mine who is a senior politician in Kenya, that one of the greatest hallmarks of a servant leader is that when he or she receives a letter from a citizen, he or she acknowledges the letter. And I've dealt with many African heads of state and to their credit, quite a number of them, they will cause the letter to be acknowledged. In Kenya, which is my country, you write to leaders, they never respond. Never. Because they are, there is arrogance, which is tragic. So what must one do when one gets into public office? Humility must never abandon you. I've had the opportunity myself of serving in public spaces in this country on three different occasions. And in my view, have never changed. I've always realized that power is temporal and that you only do your bit and leave. As William Shakespeare once said, all the world is but a stage. We have our comings and goings. If you remember that, you'll remember to always have humility as your shadow.